Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anubha. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to continue with this textbook, Cours de langue et de civilisation française by G. Moget, volume 2, recommended by CVC both for class 11th and 12th. So, from this textbook, we have already completed till lesson number 22. I am talking about the culture de civilisation portion. We are yet to discuss few more grammar topics from this book and many more questions of grammar. Right, those will be discussed once first 30 chapters get over. Right, so we are on 23rd right now. Okay, so in grammar we have verbs souvent, suivi, the infinitive complement and preposition plus infinitive. We will do this once we are done with the culture de civilisation, right? So, today we are going to discuss the text and the back questions of it. Perfect. So, lesson 23 is titled as La Provence. Also, all my other videos based on this particular textbook for class 12th are present in the playlist title CBSE Class 12 G Moshi. Okay, so the link to the playlist is provided in the description box below. You can watch the other videos if you haven't by visiting that playlist. Okay, so we are to discuss about this, La Provence. The heading is La Provence, it's a region in France. Extrait d'un article de Monsieur Vincent. So it's an extract from the article of Mr. Vincent. We know about Mr. Vincent who is going to different, different places of France and writing different things, right? So this particular passage is an extract of one of his article. articles, right? So, let's begin reading. Quand vous voyagerez dans le midi de la France, n'oubliez pas d'aller en Provence. So, when you will travel to the south region of the France, I know like midi sounds like middle, right? Midi de la France, middle of the France, but that's not the case. Midi means south in this case, right? So, south of France, southern region of France, okay. N'oubliez pas d'aller en Provence. Don't forget to go to Provence. Descendez la large vallée pour border les montagnes. Descend the large valley that borders the mountain. Uh, the mountain. Why am I saying mountain? In English, mountains. Okay. Descendez la large vallée que border les montagnes. Descend the large valley that borders the mountains. Un chaud soleil brille dans le ciel bleu. Vous êtes accompagné par la musique des cigales cachées dans les pins et dans les pales oliviers. So, a hot, bright sun in the clear blue sky. You will be accompanied by the music of the cicadas. Cigal is cicadas, those... Uh, Insects that uh, sing, right? Like, probably there was a picture also in one of the previous chapters. Let me just check whether it's there or not. I mean, I remember reading a chapter for the insects, right? Yep, here it is. Sigal. The singing cicada, right? So, back to chapter 23. Hmm. So, these uh, the music of the cicadas, caché dans les pins, hidden in the pines, et dans les pales oliviers, and in the pale olive trees, olivier olive trees, des mains blancs, se montre partout avec le toit de tuiles rose claire. So, uh, M-A-S, ma. Uh, ma is a term used for uh, the farms that are found in Provence. Okay, rural houses or the farms in Provence. So, uh, the white colored houses of Provence that uh, show themselves everywhere with their roofs made of tiles, tiled roof. And what's the color of the tile? Rose clear, clear or bright pink color. Des lignes de, de cyprès noires les protègent 
कौन था दल मिस्टर दाल सो लाइंस ऑफ द सिप्रस ट्रीज ओके ब्लैक सिप्रस ट्रीज दैट प्रोटेक्ट अगेंस्ट द मिस्टर दाल मिस्टर दाल इज अ विंड दैट ब्लोस इन दैट एरिया राइट इट्स अ वायलेंट विंड Le mistral et le vent puissant qui souffle le long du Rhône pendant des jours entiers, sans arrêt. So the mistral is a powerful wind that blows uh, along the Rhône during the entire days without stopping, sans sans arrêt, non-stop. Il est assez fort, dit-on, pour retarder les trains. It is enough strong to even uh, delay the trains okay uh, it is said there people say that on the like one says there that it is so powerful that it can delay the trains as well now we are on page number 63 in case you have the book you can very well open page number 63 since we are reading from here la provence est aussi la terre des souvenirs anciens orange a gardé son arc de triomphe Use pa le ton. So the Provence is also the land of ancient souvenirs, like Orange. Orange is a region there. It's an area there, right? Uh, in English, you probably read it as Orange only, but in French, it's Orange. So, uh, which has still kept its arc of arc du the triomphe. Uh, triumphant arc. Probably the structure is similar to what there is in Paris. Arc de Triomphe, right? Similar to that, must be. So it has still guarded that uh, Arc de Triomphe of theirs, which has been worn out by time, indicating that it's an old one. So Théâtre Antique, it's an antique theater. Assez grand pour contenir des milliers de spectateurs. Big enough to contain thousands of spectators. Avignon vous montera ses remparts. Avignon, you will see at in the Avignon you will see uh, its battlements, remparts. Le château des papes, the castle of the Pope. Le vieux pont qui refuse aujourd'hui de franchir le Rhône car il ne reste plus que la moitié. The Cesar. So uh, the old bridge that refuses today to cross the Rhone because it no longer uh, remains in a condition like that. Like it's only half uh, of the arches are left, and it's uh, probably broken as well, right? So sur le pont d'Avignon, l'on y danse, l'on y danse. Sur le pont d'Avignon, l'on y danse tout en ronde, disait la vieille chanson française. So on the bridge of Avignon, one dances there, one dances there on the bridge of, bridge of Avignon, one dances there all around. So this is an old song in French, right? Probably when this bridge of Avignon was in good condition, when people can cross to it, right? Now it cannot be crossed. La Provence c'est aussi la Camargue. So the Provence it is also the Camargue. Camargue is the plain region of Provence. Où vivent les chevaux et les taureaux sauvages? Where live the horses and the wild bulls? Taureau, bulls. T a u r e a u x in plural. Taureau in uh, singular. T a u r e a u. Similarly, cheval, cheval in singular, C H E V A L, and since it's we're ending with A L, we will convert it in plural by making it A U X, right? So C H E V A U X. Said Al, again a region there. Said Zaren is son théâtre antique. Uh, that's arenas and the uh, antique theater. Mais il faut cesser de vous parler de la Provence. J'y connais tout de ma vie pour pouvoir vous les nommer toutes. So, but uh, it is a must to stop to talk to you about Provence. I know a lot of 
wonders of Provence uh, for being able to name them all. Okay, so yeah, that was your text. How many questions are there? Like we discussed about Provence and the things that we can see there, right? So, page number 206 or 7, I guess. 206. 7 questions. Now, let me just pick my register. Right. Okay. So, uh, we have uh, lesson 23. Lesson 23. First question. Now, I need to take the duster as well. I didn't write the key terms on the board while reading the passage because we are going to come across the same keywords again while discussing the answers. And the, you, of course, know that I write the answers on the board, right? If you have been watching my other videos of G Moje Volume 2. So, question number one Uso Tuvla Provence. Where do we find Provence? So, answer one will be La Provence, so true. Or you can also write in this way, like on sa trouve la Provence, that will be even better. Like la Provence sa trouve, it might be translated as la Provence find itself. No, like one can find Provence on sa trouve la Provence dans La midi de la fonds. Perfect. Now, next we have Comment s'appelle une femme provençale? How do we call a Provence farm? Okay, a farm in Provence. We have the term for that ma, M A S, ma. So, answer two will be uh, no, o, it's yun. Yun Ferm Provençal Sapel Ma. Okay. Number third. Kamu etel kuvert. How is this Provence house or Provence farm is covered? It's covered with tiled roofs which are of pink, a uh, bright pink color, right? So, bright pink or clear pink color. Now, I'm assuming that we are talking about uh, the farm only because second question was Como Sapelion Femme Provençal and the next one is Como Etel Couvert, right? So, probably this question is Referring to how the houses are covered, they are covered with the roofs, right? Uh, with the uh, tiled roofs, pink in color. Okay, uh, wrong spelling. Par le toi de tuil rose clair. So it is covered by the tiled roofs, bright pink or clear pink in color. Question number four we have. Uh, quel est le vent qui souffle au Provence? What is the wind that blows in Provence? That wind is what? Mistral. Right. So, le vent qui souffle au Provence est le Mistral. Fifth one we have, nommé les arbres plantés pour protéger du vent. Name the trees planted for protecting, 
from the wind we have the lines of cypress trees right so le cypress I'm not sure for the English pronunciation. It could be Cypress, it could be Cypress. I'm not pretty sure, but in French it's Cypress. So les Cypress sont les arbres plantés pour protéger. Du vent. Hmm, perfect. Now we can uh, rub it off. Uh, three, two questions are left. Uh, probably we can rub first three to accommodate the last two questions. Right. What do we have next one? Souvenirs. Let's see. Uh, yeah, old monuments. Okay, fine. We can name some of them. So, number six, we have Cité des Monuments Anciens en Provence. Uh, lists and lists some uh, old monuments of Provence. We can do it very well. So, Of course, paraphrasing the question in a subjective answer is important. The, the monuments anciens en Provence sont. Now you can name one by one. We got to know about an Arc of Triomphe, Arc de Triomphe. Right. Oh, oh, why did I write off? <laughs> Arc de Triomphe. Then there's uh, the bridge of Avignon, Le Pont d'Avignon. Then we have Théâtre Antique. And you can name one more, Le Château des Papes. Le Château. The pop. Okay. And the last question. Que trouve-t-on dans la plaine de Camargue? What do we find in the plain of Camargue? We find horses and wild bulls, right? So, on trouve les chevaux et Le toro sauvage. Right. And uh, there's a, I, I remember there's this Teatro Antique in Camargue as well. Right. Let me just confirm that once because I remember it reading that. In the text, 23, 23, yes, chapter 23, oh God. Yes, a few more, yes, 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 yes. See, si. la Provence est aussi la Camargue où vivent les chevaux, ah, c'est Arles, c'est Zaden, et so, okay, okay, okay. Different place, Théâtre Antique is in a different region, it's in Arles. Like, uh, not sure, again, not sure for the English pronunciation. Arles, Arles, don't know. It's A-R-L-E-S. Okay. There we have Edina's and the Théâtre Antique, Antique Theatre. Right. Here it's this much only. Autour les chevaux et les taureaux sauvages. Right. Sauvage, no comma. Uh, dans la plaine. De... So with this we complete the culture de civilization portion for lesson 23 and with this video we also complete the culture de civilization portion 
for class 12th cbse french for 2022-23 batch okay pre pandemic era as i have already discussed it used to be 1 to 17 for 11th like when i was in school and uh, 18 to 30 chapters for 12th right but since uh, the pandemic uh, the amount of chapters keep changing right so for this particular batch for class 12th we have only 18 19 20 21 22 23 Right, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Six chapters only. That's pretty less, isn't it? But anyways, it's not a big issue. So these six chapters are there that you need to prepare. Right, it might happen next year. We may have the full syllabus like we used to have earlier. Right, but for this particular batch, for 2022, 23, CBS, we have only 18 to 23. So there's that much culture this if this also portion is done. Okay, so now we can move to sample paper for class 12th okay cbsc sample paper of class 12th and after that let's see we, uh, maybe some revision videos some youtube shorts a few vlogs and uh, yeah that's how i'll be uploading maybe one q a as well in future let's see okay there are many more videos lined up like this and uh, for the past 10 11 days i was not able to uh, upload any video because i was having multiple exams that's why okay so now i will try my best to upload on a regular basis so yeah with this we conclude today's video say to push you that's all for today if you like this video please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel learn from jordan above and if you have any doubt or suggestion you may write that in the comment section below you may also like my facebook page by the same name learn from jordan above see you in my next video thanks for watching god of god nibli park along from sayas elamud